Wow, 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 bro. We got Sue Surf, the face, the voice of the URL, arrested by the federales on RICO charges. We also got Swamp Town threatening to leave URL due to politics. What does this mean for URL? And is there anything that the URL can do about this? Let's talk about it. Uh, bro, it's tough. It's tough to start. It's tough to even pick where to start in this video because Sue Surf, I mean, Sue Surf has been arrested, has actually been arrested. It's not a rumor anymore. Nothing like that. There's footage and video of Sue Surf being taken in by the federalities, bro. It happened. Thank you, Surf, for having those conversations on the spaces a couple of days ago. Thank you for saying what you said. And I really, really hope that you make it through this sooner rather than later. Swamp Town recently came out shortly after Av recently came out and started speaking about leaving the URL. So just recently, Av came out and let us know that he strongly believes that the URL has issues with the fact that somebody like Av can go to Chrome 23 and do a battle that the URL at one point was trying to make happen, right? Shortly after Av comes out and lets us know that he's planning on leaving URL, you know what I'm saying? After he fulfills his obligation on paper, so after he fulfills his contract, Rum Nitty was also thrown into the mix. Rum Nitty having also been on the uh, Chrome 23 card and having headlined the Riot card versus A Ward. A third person this week comes up, bro, and also lets us know that he's also planning on retiring from the URL due to politics, bro. It almost feels like the URL is crumbling. When you take into consideration the fact that the face and the voice of Sue Surf has just been taken by the Federales, and we have battle rappers who are starting to wake up and realize that they have no freedom as it pertains to their career, and these guys choosing to leave, or even threatening to leave, it seems and feels though as if though the URL is kind of crumbling right now. As far as Sue Surf goes, I want to watch this quick video by Lisa Evers, just so that we are all aware, well, at least you guys that watch me, are aware of what's going on. Like I said before in a previous video, if you guys want to get facts and information from a journalist, I recommend listening to Lisa Evers as it pertains to the Sue Surf situation. Let's take a quick listen. Just confirmed, and unfortunately, it is not good news for Sue Surf. I have learned from various sources that he was arrested today around 1.30 this afternoon by the U.S. Marshal Service, New York, New Jersey Regional Fugitive Task Force. Now, I'm going to read from my notes because I want to make sure that I give this to you absolutely correctly, and I literally just got off the last phone call that I had to make to try to confirm this for you. So they're, they're saying that Sue Surf was picked up in Jersey City. He was at a home there with a female. The uh, sources say that the house was surrounded by law enforcement. 
and then Sue Surf with the female tried to go out the back door, but then when they went outside, they saw that there was a lot of law enforcement because you know what kind of uh, presidents are gonna take on a case like this. So they, Sue Surf and the woman went back into the house and they stayed in there for about an hour and what the law enforcement officials call a barricade, they say he was barricaded inside. It doesn't mean that he was nailing down doors or windows or anything like that. It just means he was inside the home and not willing to come out right away. So they called in these hostage negotiators. They're called crisis negotiators from the U.S. Marshals on New York, New Jersey Fugitive Task Force. They talked with him for a while, quite a while apparently, but then he peacefully surrendered. So they took him into custody and it appears right now that he w is wanted by the DEA on a federal RICO case. I'm gonna to try to get more information about that. Um, and then right now he was taken to Essex County Jail, which is where he's being held. As some of you may know, that if you are facing a federal charge in New Jersey and Newark, the feds have a contract with the Essex County Jail and they keep their detainees there. So right now, Sue Surf is under arrest He's at the Essex County Jail. He's expected to go before a judge in federal court in Newark uh, sometime tomorrow. I'm gonna to be confirming that for you as well. But again, just to confirm, he was arrested. It is in connection with a RICO case, a DEA RICO case. He's in Essex County Jail. He is uh, apparently in okay condition, and he was taken into custody this afternoon, and we're finding out more about that. But just to confirm what everybody has been asking me, about an update, this is what the latest is. He's okay, but he's detained. He's in Essex County Jail facing federal RICO charges. We'll find out more what that's all about for you and bring you that news once I have it confirmed. He's expected to go before the judge tomorrow in the federal court that would be in downtown Newark. I'm gonna find out about that and confirm all of that as well. So that's the latest on Sue Surf. And uh, let's remember that no matter how bad it looks for people, you are innocent until proven guilty. They have. I bet some people, right, and some of you bloggers out there feel real stupid, bro. I bet some of you guys feel real stupid, bro. A couple of specific bloggers, bro, that were talking about the fact that, oh, oh, it's crazy. And we saying free surf and surf is at home tweeting, right? Or, or other bloggers saying, oh, this is all a hoax. Surf is doing this so that he can get album sales, bro. Bro. I bet some of you guys feel real stupid, bro. Lisa Evers just broke down, bro. This man tried to leave through the back door. Noticed there was law enforcement, barricaded himself in his home because he wasn't trying to go. I'm sure he was either he was either having some type of conversation or doing something with his girl the last hour that he's gonna have, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case is, bro. This is not a joke, bro. For those of you, for those of you bloggers, bro, that just want to talk to get views and all this stuff, bro. When it comes to real life, bro, things are not a joke. Even I understand that, bro. Even me, yes, me, the guy who makes surf videos all the time and and bags on surf for doing stupid things in battle rap. That's not a joke, bro. But anyway, Sue Surf has been arrested, bro. How does this affect the URL? What does this mean for the URL? The URL has literally just lost its face, bro, and its voice. Sue Surf was a big part of why battlers, right? Why a lot of battlers began to gain interest in battling on URL. Did we forget about Midnight Madness? Bro, a lot of battle rappers look to surf and want to be like a surf. Surf is one of the reasons that URL is so popular, bro. Surf is single-handedly one of the reasons that, so, that URL is so popular, bro. Surf is the advocate for it, bro. He's the enforcer for URL. So it brings up the question, bro. What does this do to the URL? But not just that. The fact that we got Av talking about leaving URL due to politics. We got Swamp leaving URL do the politics. As a matter of fact, hold up. Let me let me run this tweet by you guys real quick. Hold up, man. Swamp says, finishing this year strong, then I'm falling back from battle rap. I want to thank my fans and everyone that rock with me. 
my milestones and goals have been reached. But the politics and the hell I go through, not worth my peace. But the politics and the hell that I go through. So, URL is losing battlers, bro. You, it seems as if though URL is losing battlers, bro. As far as the politics goes, and and you know all the rules and all this stuff that 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 messes with the politics and what battles you can and can't do. That's one reason. Some people like to ask. Why do I speak on these things, right? Why do I speak on, let's say, Av, right? Talking about leaving URL and the reasons why and Swamp, talking about the politics and, and the reasons why he's leaving URL. Some people ask the question, and it's a pretty good question. Why even talk about these things, right? If at the end of the day, we're going to watch URL battles anyway. We're going to support the battles anyway. So why even talk about these things? And here's why I talk about these things, bro. Here's why it's important for us to talk about all of these things. Battlers leaving URL, the politics, contracts, and all these things, right? If we don't speak up as a community and as a culture, things will remain the way that they are. As a matter of fact, things will get worse. If nobody speaks up, right, when battle rappers themselves are speaking up, if we don't support, right, the battle rappers and all these things, right, when they speak out and they say these things, if we don't support and we ignore these things, guess what happens, bro? The situation with URL and what they're doing over there with contracts and controlling people and locking people down and, 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 and all this and trapping people gets worse. It gets worse and worse and worse because if the url is not hearing any backlash or any feedback or any criticism from anybody then they don't know that they're doing anything wrong they don't think they're doing anything wrong but if av comes out right and tells us that the url is not booking him because he did that and do unfair treatment right lets us know that he's getting unfair treatment over there if swamp comes out and lets us know that he's also getting unfair treatment over there, right? And these things have happened. If we keep quiet about these things, bro, nothing changes. Nothing changes, bro. But guess what happens, right? When we do start to discuss and when we start to talk about the politics and the dirty business, bro, and the fact that us as a community and culture are not feeling that, bro, we're not with these politics, bro. When we start letting it be known that we're not with these politics, bro, and that we're not going to support if you guys keep cheating battle rappers, bro, and if you guys keep playing the culture, bro, because this battler decided to do that, so now we can't get a battle that we've been wanting to see for four years because URL feels some type of way about this person having done this battle over there. So now because of that, the entire culture has to suffer because URL doesn't want to book them because they want to teach that person a lesson because they did a main event over at the riot. And now you see how messy all that shit starts to get, bro? That's a big part, bro, of why these things are happening. Why an Av is speaking out saying that He's done and he and that he, and he believes the URL is mistreating him because of what he did. Swamp coming out. And these are just the two most recent ones. When we speak out, our voices are going to be heard, bruh. If you stay quiet, your voice cannot be heard. What this is, I feel like when I speak on these topics, bruh, what I feel like I'm doing is protesting. This is my way of protesting the politics and the dirty business that goes on behind the scenes that prevents the culture from moving forward and progressing. 
I am protesting, bro, when I'm making these videos and talking about these topics. For you guys that love to say, oh, why do we even talk? Why even talk about these? We're going to watch it anyway. Yes, I'm going to watch battles because I love battle rap. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to remain quiet and silent, right? When it comes to battle rappers coming out and speaking out on behalf of the machine and letting us know what's going on over there. URL. It's not too late. It's not too late. Surf being arrested is going to be something that the URL is going to need to recover from. Because the U because Sue Surf alone was carrying the URL. Sue Surf was carrying a big portion of URL, bro. Sue Surf help, helps URL gain more and more traction, bro. Every time that Surf speaks, does something controversial, battles, whatever. Surf was a big part of that machine. Now that Surf's gone, is it too late for URL? URL, let me tell you something. It's not too late, bro. It's not too late. You know, you're losing, but you're being, battlers are threatening to leave your platform. But it's not too late for you. URL. You know why? You know why it's not too late, bro? Because the URL still has the ability, right? To change the to change what they're doing. The URL has the ability to change what they're doing. They can choose to tomorrow wake up and choose to offer a battler a completely different type of contract or situation that they've been offering people. For example, ARP on his contract, he's not looking to lock battle rappers down. He's not looking to trap them, bro, and prevent them from getting money elsewhere. ARP's contract specifically, for example, right, makes it so that the battler has to do what he agreed to do. That's it. You simply just have to do what you agreed to do in the contract which is do the battle, fulfill the battle. And nowhere does it say that they can't compete on, they can't battle on competitor leagues while they're under contract for two years and this, that, and the fifth, and nothing like that. URL, it's not too late, bro. Battlers are choosing to leave, bro, and not deal with the URL because of the dirty business and politics that's going on. The more that people like me speak out on it, the more people become aware. That's why I speak on it. Because on top of it being my protest, bro, it's information. Information is power. Knowledge is power. The more you know, the better. URL battlers are choosing to leave, bro, the URL. But it's not too late for you guys, bro. You guys can still change these contracts, bro. You guys can still do something about this. If you guys remain wanting to trap battlers into contracts and lock them down for however many years and they can't even go nowhere and get any of the bags, bro, battlers are going to keep waking up. Battlers are going to keep waking up and keep deciding not to go or do any type of exclusive. A ward is a perfect example. That's what's going to continue to happen on a bigger scale, bro, if the URL doesn't decide to change something about what they're doing. Change something about that program you got going on, bro. Battle rappers are not feeling it, bro. We're not getting battles that we're that the culture wants because of politics, bro. It's insane to me how how much this affects, bro. On top of that, bro, you just lost the face of URL. Something's going to have to give here, man. Something's going to have to give. Either the URL is going to eventually crumble because of because they're doing it to themselves or the URL can decide to make the necessary changes to accommodate battle rappers, bro. Battle rappers are your bread and butter, URL.
I think that you guys want to keep battle rappers on your good side. As far as Sue Surf goes, bro, shame on you guys who are cracking jokes, you know what I'm saying, calling this a, a hoax, talking about why we talking about free surf and free when surf is at home tweeting. Shame on you guys, bro. Let me know what you guys think of this whole situation, man. Swamp now threatening to leave URL, bro. The face of URL. Has now been removed, bro. Which puts a huge dent in URL currently. Let me know what you guys think, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct from the battle.